Good day. I'm going to show you the quick way to do addition using the Vedic Sutra by one more than the one before. Okay, something that you need to note that while we're doing this, that we're going to be adding these little dots above numbers. So when you see a number like this three dot, that just means one more than the one before. So that basically means we just add one to get four. So if you have five dot, that equals six. A dot above any number just means one more. So first, the Western way that we do this, uh, let's start at the very right. 7 and 2 give us 9. 9 and 5 give us 14. 14 and 3 give us 17. So we write a 7 and carry a 1. So my question to you is, at what point did this carry take place? Okay, it happened here. So here we have 7 and 2 give us 9. 9 and 5 give us 14. So at this point, when we add the 5 to 9... That's when we get a number above 10, right? 7 and 2 is 9. 9 and 5 give us 14. So instead of writing the, the carry way up top, we're simply going to carry it at this point here. Remember, a number with a dot above it equals the next number up. Okay, so we have 7 and 2. That gives us 9. 9 and 5 give us 14. We carried the 1 from the 14 to the tens place. But we still have to carry this 4 from the units plates, the 14. Okay, so 4 and 3, that gives us 7. Okay, we just keep adding it as we go, go along. So 7 and 2 is 9. 9 and 5 is 14. We carry the 1 to the tens place, but that 4 still needs to, still needs to be carried down. So 4 and 3 gives us 7. Okay, next column. 6 and 5, that gives us 11. So at this point, we have a carry. Okay, 6 and 5 give us 11. And what are we carrying? We're carrying a 1, right? 6 and 5 give us 11, so we carried the, the next unit higher. We carried the, the, the hundredths place. But the tens place, we have a 1. We still need to carry that. So now we have 1 plus 8. Remember, this is 8. So 1 plus 8, that gives us 9. 9 and 3 give us 12. So at this point, we have another carry. Okay. Now, next column, we have 1 and 5. Remember, this is now 5. 1 and 5 give us 6. 6 and 8 give us 14. So we have a carry at this point. And we need to move that 4. We need to keep carrying that 4 down as we go along. Okay, we need to keep carrying that 4 down. So now we have 4 plus 8. 7 dot is 8. So 4 plus 7 dot. 4 plus 8. That gives us 12. So we have another carry at this point. Okay, next column. 2 and 8. That gives us 10. So here we have another carry. Okay, now we're just carrying a zero down. Zero and six dot, remember six dot is seven. So zero and seven give us seven. Okay, and then seven and three give us 10. So here we have another carry. We're gonna write down that zero. Okay, now last column, one and 4, 1 and 4 give us 5, okay, 5 and 9 give us 14, so we have another carry at this point, now we're carrying this 4 down as we go along, okay, 4 and 5 give us 9, and finally the last column, we see we have a dot all by itself, that's basically a 0 dot, that means 1, so here, here we get our answer, now, this is kind of a faster way of doing your addition because you're doing the carries at that point and then you're just carrying the remainder down as you go along. It speeds up your addition significantly. It makes it a lot faster. All right, let's do another problem. So starting at the right, 8 and 5, that gives us 13. So at that point, we have a carry and we're going to be moving this 3 down as we go along. So 3 and 5, that gives us 8. Okay, next column, 2 and 7, that gives us 9. 9 and 3 give us 12, so we have another carry at this point. 
Okay, next column, five and eight. Once again, that's 13. So we have a carry at that point. Okay, we're moving that three down as we go along. Five and eight give us 13. So we carried the one. Now we have to bring that three down as we go along. So three and five, that gives us eight. Okay, next column, six and 10, that gives us 16. So at this point, we have a carry. Okay, now we have to bring that six down as we go along six and ten give us 16 so that six keeps going down remember six and ten gives us 16 so we carried the one that six still has to come down so six and three that's going to give us nine okay last column six and two give us eight eight and three give us 11 so here we have a carry and that dot by itself just bring it down. So here's our answer. We get our answer really quick. All right, one more example. Starting at the right, two and six give us eight. Eight and nine give us 17. So at this point, we have a carry. We're gonna write down that seven. Now five and eight, next column, five and eight give us 13. So we have a carry at this point, and we're carrying this three down as we go along. So now we have three and nine. Three and nine give us 12. And at that point we have another carry. Okay, next column four and seven give us 11. So at this point we have another carry. We're gonna be moving a one down as we go along. One and 10, that gives us 11. So we have another carry. And we write down that one. Okay, next column three and nine. Three and nine, that give us 12. So at that point we have another carry. We're gonna be moving that two down as we go along. So now we have two and five. Two and five give us seven. Okay, final column here. We have three and nine, or excuse me, three and seven. Three and seven give us 10, so we have a carry. Okay, then zero and three give us three. And finally that dot by itself is a zero dot, so that's gonna be a one. So here's our answer. Okay, this was just a real quick video. I want to thank you for watching. Please press the like button down below, leave a comment, and if you like these videos and you want to see more, simply subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.